And now Russell's here. Hello, Russell. Hello. Nice, nice to, to see, see you. You yeah. have been busy. Yes, keeping off the streets. So there was the Doctor Who launch up in um, Cardiff. Um, Cardiff on Tuesday night. Week. That was huge. And Monday night we launched Casanova. Mm. But and they're coming. Casanova's on this Sunday on BBC, on BBC Three. BBC Three. And are you pleased? I well, I'm very pleased. And they've done me proud. I have to say, it's I, I have a quite a nice life because I sit at home and I type and I send these things off, and then 27 dozen people bleed from the eyes to get it on screen. <laughs> <laughs> and and they really have done me proud. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Good. But you had to read a lot, didn't you, first? In yes. Order to get how, much, how much did you read? Well, I, I knew nothing about Casanova. Do you know, when they first uh, contacted me and said, do you want to write Casanova, I didn't even know if he was a fictional character or not. Mm. I, was, I was on the phone to my agent going, is that like Serrano de Bergerac? Is he real? <laughs> and he is real. And it turns out there are 12 volumes of autobiography and I ploughed through every single page. Um. I could do mastermind on Casanova. Can you? Oh, well. 12 volumes of autobiography? Yes. Um, when did he find time to write 12 well, In volumes? his old age, he said, uh, this is actually the drama. We've got Peter O'Toole as the older Casanova, who, whose life had declined towards the end of his life, and he was he was forgotten and unknown. And he sat in a castle and he wrote his life story. And he actually only reached uh, middle age in his life story. He lived to seventy three, but I was sort of glad he died before he could finish. Bad <laughs> <laughs> enough. He could have written another twelve. <laughs> <laughs> and did you learn a lot about the man? Well, you must have done twelve volumes of his do, it's, it's What kind of bloke was he? Well, I thought I, you come to it expecting the serial seducer. Sir, the, mm. the suave Lothario, and actually, if, if he'd been that, I wouldn't have written it because I'm not remotely interested in that sort of man on or off screen. <laughs> and, um, and actually, I discovered a charming, funny, witty, uh, a liar in all sorts of wonderful ways. He makes yeah. up all sorts of stories about himself. Uh, not a nobleman. Yeah. Um, he made. He was a self-made man making his way through Venetian society. Um, a lover of women, truly a lover of women. That was the most extraordinary thing. He's. He was such a modern man in that he listened to women, he, he supported women, he, he, they had equal rights in his eyes. Mm. And, and, and he didn't love them and leave them, he would uh, stay in touch with women and help them afterwards. Mm. He was truly, truly modern and that's when I thought, oh, I can write this. We've got Meanwhile, of course, you've been doing all that. Were you doing Casanova at the same time? I as was you doing. doing I was making Casanova in Manchester and down in Cardiff. Yep. We were making Doctor Who. Oh. Gosh, at the same time. Yes, that was a bit busy. Well, I'm not half as busy as the people actually making it, though. So, but um, which did you write first, or did you write them simultaneously? No, Casanova was actually written a couple of years ago. Okay. And it took time to find the money to get made, and then right. Doctor Who suddenly came along when the BBC decided to bring it back, and I had no choice but to work on it because I love it. Well, yes. and we get to see it in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we get to see it but right now. A we? tiny little clip show. Clip? See you now. Wow. <laughs> I'm the doctor, by the way. What's your name? Rose. Nice to meet you, Rose. Run for your life. Those it, Nan. That's the first time they meet, isn't it? Uh, Are those yes, the first words? Right. He's just um, no, no, not quite the first words, but um, he's just saved her life. Is he? He's a complete stranger. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And you're happy with it? Everybody else seems happy with it because they've, they've, they've been when it was launched in Cardiff, all the TV reviewers were up there. It was and, um, balmy. It was like a film premiere. I've never yeah. seen the like. I mean, we've yet to. The great British public will decide in the end, never mind all your critics and, and nonsense That's like true, that. That's actually. Um, and they can be know. harsh, Russell, can't well, they? Because it's can, on in... They could be good judges, I think. Mm -hmm. I really hope they watch. Um, you know, there's something in it for everyone. Yeah. I love it. I'm so proud of it. On a, on a personal basis, can you explain something for us? I managed to call you Russell TV Davis yes. earlier. <laughs> I almost walked out. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is actually probably better you know? than Russell yes. T. Davis. <laughs> But the T stands for what? TV? Oh, TARDIS. 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 At the moment, <laughs> um, it doesn't stand for anything. There's another Russell Davis who you've probably had who on the know. show. He, yes, yes, yes. He, um, 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 working for Radio Four and all sorts of things. So yes. I sort of had to distinguish my name from his. So Russell it's, Television it's, Davis. Television I think Davis. Davis. It's quite good, isn't it? it is. Russell like Tussle it. Davis. I Russell like. Tussle. <laughs> Tawdry? No, we shouldn't say Stop that. Really <laughs> on. Stop right there. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of things that are not Tawdry at all, and looking back at your your career, you were a storyliner on. Coronation Street. Briefly, yes, what I was. What is that? A storyline is, 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 is it's a marvellous job. It's a complicated job. That, isn't it? The writers come up with the stories, but then the storyliners have to hammer that into shape in, into five episodes a week. And it's, it's quite a science, in a way, because if you've got a big story for Deirdre, she can't be in every scene, or she'd die of exhaustion, you know? Yeah. So you have to plan... Oh, you weave them together? You weave them together, and you plan literally how many hours the actors are working and stuff like that, and how many sets you've got. So it's, it's the science of putting a show together along with the art of telling a good story at the same time. It's a lovely job. Was yeah. it fun doing soaps? Because you, like, you like soaps, Absolutely don't you? Absolutely love. Just teamwork. And you work on... I only actually spent one story block on Coronation Street. Yeah. And the stuff you learn off the writers in there, like John Stevenson, uh, it was miraculous. Do you, do you have to keep a line count on the computer when you're, when you're writing? Make sure, say, that... Uh, uh, Christopher in Doctor Who has you know, got enough lines and enough FaceTime. 
Oh, right, he'd say the opposite. He'd say, give me less, please. Really? <laughs> he's worn out. But no, he's sort of, not no. with some of like Dog 2, because it's very much carried by Chris and Ben. But in the soaps? Uh, no, uh, well, the storyline sort of takes care of that, actually, mm. to make sure that you right. don't actually count them, but you, you get a rough sense of how many pages mm. someone's in, and therefore how many scenes, and it yes. becomes second, uh, second knowledge mm. by the end. You can sit back now, can't you? Do you think? That'd yeah, be nice. Yeah, well, you've got Casanova BBC Three, what, 10 o'clock? Yes. Uh, yes, and then you've got um, Doctor Who coming up in a couple of weeks. Easter Saturday. You've got to find yes. something else to write, Russell. Do you know? Well, hopefully there'll be a second series of Doctor Who. That's ah, the plan. Yeah. So well, we there expect we to see you at the BAFTAs next year or the RTS. <laughs> Serving, or... probably. Here's your mind. Just pick Thank out you. something nice now. White shirts. <laughs> Thank white you. Uh, Russell TV Davis. Thank you very nice much. Nice to see you. See you again soon. <laughs>